I think Lily is the, the hope in the film. She's the, she's the rock for Tim and it, it's needed. He, it's such a stressful film uh, at times. So when you, you see the scenes between her and Tim, it's like, it's, it's like, thank God. <laughs> it's really, yeah. Obviously, Tim is a, is a character who's faced with a lot of challenges. Um, so what were the, your main challenges when facing this film? Um, well, f filming it was was the giving birth scene. That was quite that was quite something. Because I, I just remember saying, I I mean I've never done it before, so I hope it looks real. It's like that's I think that was the most challenging bit. But uh, no, it was it was great to work with such amazing uh, director and also George is yeah he's, he's good. The film is also set obviously in an estate um, and obviously a very different environment. So what was it like kind of getting used to that environment and acting in there? It was great to be in such because it, it, it just fitted so well with the film. But I, I think Dwayne is so clever because he, as much as it, it's quite a bleak um, kind of backdrop, he finds beauty in it. And, and I, think that's, I think that's true of life, actually. You know, even though there's bleak moments, you, there are beautiful moments as well. It was just a real joy working with Dwayne, encouraging a kind of a depth of study into the character and a level of detail, and that's something that I'll really take from this from this experience of you know, working with Dwayne and working on Bypass to you know to everything I do you know, in the future. I think I could I could sympathise with the certain relationships that he that he had, and mainly I think probably Tim's way of thinking or something. Although I would kind of you know wasn't from the world that 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 Tim. Tim was from it, you know, I wasn't kind of existing in the same place as him at the time. It was, I could understand why, the way he would approach everything that he did in the story. And I think that's probably the essence of it, yeah. Well, Tim is basically, he's trying to do whatever he can to get by. And Tim, his morality kind of gets in the way of surviving in the environment that he's in. You say he faces a lot of challenges. What challenges did you face in approaching this role? I think about probably just understanding Tim mostly because I think, and also the, the sort of the detail of the world that, that he's that he's in as well. I mean, Dwayne is someone who who looks for a lot of detail in his work, and so that that was a main challenge. But I guess mainly it was just about about kind of knowing exactly what Tim was going through and kind of placing where his biggest concerns would be. And also, if you could summarise the film in kind of one word or one phrase, what word or phrase would that be? Poetic? Yeah. Um, really it was about, you know, the first thing is to kind of make it authentic. The first thing is to make sure that you've done enough research, that everything in the film is very, very real, so you ha kind of have that foundation. But then also we didn't want to make a film which was just a piece of social realism. We wanted to make something which was more about the internal kind of life of the character. So it was about finding an aesthetic as to kind of how we could do that. It was also challenging to find the performers, to find people who, because I normally work with non-actors, it's the first time I would working with actors. So I still had a thing that I wanted to work with very kind of new faces, but I wanted to work with people who had a charisma level and a talent level, which I felt was comparable with the films that I see of Alan Clark and when he worked with Gary Oldman and Tim Roth and Ray Winstone. So finding all of those people, but we have such a big talent pool of that raw talent in, in the UK. But, um, yeah, there was many challenges, and then also finding the correct locations, finding the correct place to kind of put the story.